All right. Hi, I'm Paul Zimmett. Here at the 2014 Neuroscience Convention in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're here with the, at the invitation of PDF and we visit their booth and, and moving around and look at, it, at, at exhibits and everything. My name is Todd Hemm and I'm also with the Parkinson's Disease Foundation and I'm a research advocate. Uh, this is my first uh, uh, neuroscience uh, convention and I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, this is, this, I've been doing, I got Parkinson's in 2007 and got involved with PDF in 2008. And so I've done a few of these. This is sort of an exciting one because there's 30,000 people here. Uh, wow. In fact, what started, before the, it even started, PDF and, and Nature Magazine announced their collaboration in a new journal. It's going to be an open access journal, and that, which is fantastic news for the whole research community. And I was lucky enough to be involved in the launching of that on, I guess it was today. Sunday. No, Just a few days ago, yeah. Today, but they, we actually filmed the YouTube segment to go look me up. <laughs> and you see PDF and Nature is going to be, a, it's, that's fun. As a research advocate, I came to uh, work the table, basically. Uh, PDF has a table with information, educational materials, and they're also offering uh, grants to postdoctoral uh, fe uh, fellows and uh, other uh, researchers uh, who are doing uh, new, new research. And um, I, I'm very excited to be here. I, I, the brain is like the final frontier, and it's really a, it obvious that there's a, there's so much uh, new research going into this for. Uh, for health and, and to find answers to disease. What makes it even more exciting to me is to see, since there are 30,000 people here, most of them are young, young scientists, and they're all looking at neuroscience and the brain and things like that. That's, what, that's what's exciting. And this morning, we, we even went better. We went to uh, the, a brain meeting, and Todd can tell you more about that. This was the uh, Brain Initiative, uh, sponsored, I think, through the American Brain Council, if I'm correct. Um, which our uh, president, uh, Robin Elliott, is, is CEO of. And, um, and he leads this, this the Brain Initiative. And it was a, 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 a meeting of the, the best minds and with the, with the best purpose, to find ways to, to uh, bring research together to find answers. Researchers with the patients and across all, all the, uh, the disciplines to really find answers for, for disease and brain disorders. Yeah, I think what they're trying to do is copy the G Human Genome Pro Project and get everybody to collaborate together to really try and unmap, as Todd said, the last frontier of the, of the brain. So this is an exciting convention with you know like all these people here. And even though we have a, a wonderful disease that we wish to get rid of, it's nice to be here and, and see all this work that's being done. We're, we're, some of the uh, posters that I uh, visited were, were fascinating, although I didn't understand the, the actual science. I understood the, 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 um, the, the basis of their research for the, the ideas that they were trying to, to discover. And I understood the, the uh, and spoke with some of them, and they were kind enough to speak to me in layman's terms. Um, uh, one study was uh, 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 using stem cells, implanting stem cells for uh, to create new neurons uh, that would survive in, in humans and create dopamine. So this is a, a cutting edge research and it's, uh, it's going forward. Yeah, that's a wishful thinking one, but the more practical one that we saw was on blueberries. Right? Uh, yeah, you go ahead yeah, and the, talk about that. You know, uh, being a good antioxidant, it says it might be neuroprotective to some degree. That's true. I mean, and so, there were hundreds of posters there, and, and the presenters would spend an hour a answering questions for people that had asked them. So that was fascinating, also. But it's not just Parkinson's; it's Alzheimer's, Huntington's disease, um, uh, autism. There, there are brain disorders uh, of, of many kinds that are that are being researched and studied here. But if we all were to join a knowledge base, and to and it's possible that we can share. And do share information so that uh, we can we can benefit all benefit from this research. Absolutely, and that's what segueing back to the beginning, the, the Nature magazine collaboration is fantastic because it's going to be open access, which that's like unheard of, but on a world class journal, which this will be because it's under Nature's moniker. 
so that's, that's exciting going forward in the research world. So if you get a chance to come to some PDF event or neuroscience event, do it. You'll enjoy yourself. Great. And, well, and learn a lot. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.